Hey, what's going on everyone? It's uh, day 12. Um, sorry about the delay. Today we did um, sprint speed work day, a little bit of plyometrics, and a max effort squat day. Um, right here I'm doing an acceleration drill. It's called the wall drill. Um, basically you're, you're getting in that acceleration part of the uh, your, your sprinting form. So this is where you'll still be building up that speed and um, trying to get to your top speed. This is the stage before the top speed. So what I'm doing is, got my body at about 45 degree angle. Uh, start off with one count, trying to keep your whole body straight, and you're just driving your feet back and down as fast as you can. This is a three count right here. And um, I'm just trying to drive my, my knees up as high as I can while maintaining good form, trying to just mimic that acceleration phase as best as possible. And then we go to, um, it's called the claw drill. The first one was the wall drill, this is the claw drill. Now this is mimicking top speed mechanics. This is what you should look like when you're sprinting at your top speed. Okay, your body's more upright, and um, you know, you're driving your feet back and down and then back around, okay? So this is what, it, this is what um, I'm working on, it's my top speed mechanics, okay? So I'm really forcefully driving that outside foot down and then trying to really get it all the way around as fast as possible it kind of looks like it looks very mechanical so down and back and around okay while maintaining a flexed foot so dorsiflexed foot okay um so that works on your top speed then i went and did some hill sprints um on a hill nearby um the two sets of five as fast as i could um they are hard um this really does build up your overall speed if you go 100% uphill. Um, Jerry Rice and Bo Jackson used to always do these, and that's how they got their, you know, endurance, their cardio, and that's how they got their build up that high speed. So I did one one set of five right off the the edge of the um, grass, and then one set of uh, five with a little bit of a. A, a run up okay and then here's me squatting you know kind of warming up to my max attempt effort this is just 225 on the bar I'm doing five reps and then I'm kind of pausing at the bottom and then I'm exploding up okay trying to get in that good deep position so when you when you're going for a max uh, effort you know you want to start pretty light build up you know five reps and this is going to be a three repper 275. Now, once you hit your 75, 80%, you know, I would even say 65 to 75% of what you think you might be able to get, just start doing singles. So this is 335. There's no need to do any more than one, and that's all I'm going to do. No need to uh, wear myself out. Then I hop up to 365, still without a belt. I don't like using a belt unless I really need to. Uh, my core strength needs to be tight, and I don't want to have to use something else to kind of... Um, compensate for core strength. Once you get about 90, 85, 90%, I, I advise using a belt. So this is 390, so I was like, all right, I gotta use a belt now, because otherwise, you know, you feel a little bit more pressure on your back. So 390 right here, smoked it pretty well. It's a good rep, pretty deep. We're not messing around here. Got four plates on the bar. On each side, it's 405. I haven't hit this in a while. Let's see if I get it. All right, as you heard, this is 405. I'm, I haven't been lifting super heavy lately, so or near my max. So to get this would have been great. Um, and what happens? Ask the grass, oop, and smoked it. 405, pretty easy. And then I decided to go up to 415 and you know, just, you know, why not? I don't care if I fail. So I go to 415, this would be an all time PR for me uh, with good depth. And here it goes. Bam, all the way down and up. That, that even looked easier than the uh, original 405, which is great. Then I went to uh, non-counter movement or seated box jumps. So basically, you're not using any of that stretch reflex to jump up. You're just straight from a seated position. This works on that explosiveness from just hip, hip extension, okay? Um, did five reps, okay, two sets of five on those. I usually do them with, with weights, but I was pretty tired, so if you wanna add weights, add weights, you know, and it'll make it a little bit harder. 
So here's the fifth rep, and then that's it. And then I uh, stacked the boxes again, did a set of four of, you know, high, pretty high jumps. Uh, one step, and then explode up a few times. You'll see it again, just one step right here coming up. All I'm gonna do is just one step, and then explode up, one and up. There it is, and I got it, which is pretty nice. And then I do one more rep with a little bit more of a running start and I easily clear it. Yeah, that was pretty easy for me. So I felt pretty good. I wasn't as tired as last time I did the jumps. Um, and I got it. Then I went to just straight up vertical jumps, uh, just trying to get ex as explosive as possible, trying to touch that top beam right there. It's about, it's a probably, it's about 10 feet, close to 10 feet and I'm getting it each time. So I'm just working on my max effort uh, vertical. And then, so here's my training session review. And um, thanks for being patient and day 13 will be coming soon. All right, see you guys, thanks.